Hey everyone and welcome to this video. I'm Inkslaura123 and this is going to be a book related video. I'm going to be doing a few different things in this video all book related okay so hopefully you'll enjoy it. If you do please click like and comment and please subscribe to my channel that would be awesome. Now if you want to come and follow me on social media all the links are down below so Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Goodreads, yeah everything you need to know is down below. Okay, so um, yeah, I'm going to be doing a bit of a book haul in a minute. So I've got some books from a secondhand shop, a charity secondhand bookshop. So all the books that I bought, um, all the money that I spent on the books goes to charity, which is amazing. And I also got some cute little bookends that I'm going to show you. They're so cute. And I've got some book mail in the post today from eBay, some books that I ordered um, slowly but surely they're turning up. So I've got one of them turn up today. I'm still waiting for a few more. And also in this video I'm going to be telling you about the book I'm currently reading and the book that I'm going to read next. So it's going to be a booktastic video. Booktastic, there we go. Okay, so let's start with the haul. I'm going to show you what I got. Now the first book that I'm going to show you is actually a gift for my fiancé Nathan. So this is called Over a Thousand Facts That Are Freaky, Scary, Mind Blowing and Strange But True. That was a mouthful, wasn't it? Look at that. So this was only a pound. What a bargain. It's a big old book as well. There's loads in it. And I like the colour of it as well, like the blue, all shiny, shiny. So yeah, basically this book, um, it says all the facts you ever wanted to know and some you probably didn't. Freaky facts, scary facts, gross facts, amazing facts, and simply unbelievable facts. So Nathan loves books like this. He'll just like sit there for ages, just like looking through and, you know, getting all this information. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to pick that up for him look pretty cool the next book that I want to show you is this one and I remember seeing this in Waterstones ages ago and thinking oh that looks good but I didn't get it and I don't know why I didn't get it but I didn't but I've got it now so it's called The Wicked Cometh and it's by Laura Carlin so great name there by the way Laura okay right so this I mean look at this cover it's absolutely gorgeous this was a pound I mean, bargain, a pound. So I'll read the back to you. It says, something wicked is crawling through the heart of London, but we need, no, sorry, but we have no need to protect ourselves from the bad salt because we are the bad salt. Sounds pretty cool, like gothic fiction there and a bit of like, ooh, spooky thriller, drama kind of thing, yeah. And it's got a little map in it, which I love. I love books with maps in. I'm a proper, like, nerd, but I do love having, like, a book with a map in it. So yeah, I have that. The next book I want to show you is, oh my god, this book cover is gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So here it is, it is called A Thousand Nights and it's by E.K. Johnston. Now I'd never heard of this book, so if you've heard of it, let me know if you've heard of it, because I've never heard of it. But I saw this cover, it was in the young adult section in the shop, and I love reading a lot of young adult fiction. And it says, the most dangerous love story ever told, love, mystery, magic. Um, but look at the side of the pages, look, this beautiful like design is just so nice. But the magic happens when you take off the dust jacket of this book. Look, look at this, you've got to see this, this is so beautiful. It's all like, like just beautiful with the pink and the gold and the couple there are looking all romantic and... I, I just love this, it's so pretty. So I don't know too much about it, apart from the fact that it is one of the most beautiful books I've ever seen. Um, but yeah, I think by having a quick look on Goodreads, I think it's just a duology. I don't think there's any more in the series. Um, but I could be wrong, so I'm going to have to obviously look into that a bit more. But it's so beautiful. So I've got that. Um, also I've got this one here, which is called The J Word by Andrew Sanger. Sanger, I don't know how to say his name. So this is perfect for me because as I always go on about, I'm sorry, but I am Jewish, I love all things Jewish and as you can see you've got the menorah on the uh, front of the book cover here which is great. Um, this book is supposed to be really touching and thought provoking so it's about this 80 year old man called Jack Silver um, and he lives in a part of London called Golders Green which is a very kind of Jewishy area, has been for many years now and he has to care for his 10 year old grandson Danny who's a bit unpredictable born outspoken, a bit of a kind of naughty boy and then one day the granddad gets attacked by an anti-semitic group and uh, they really like beat him up and stuff and through that 
um, the grandson and the granddad kind of bond even more than they did and kind of get to know each other and he tells him about his past and it's supposed to be a really touching book so I saw that and I was like yeah I'm gonna get that probably make me cry but I'm gonna get it okay so the next two books I want to show you I'm also going to talk a little bit about as well. It's Harry Potter. So, um, yeah, two books here, pound each. So this is Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And this is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, now, obviously, I think you probably already know, but these are by J.K. Rowling. But you probably, probably already know that by now. Um, but the thing is, right... Okay, I think I've kind of arrived a little bit late to the Harry Potter party. Everyone has been into Harry Potter for blooming years, and I was like, mm, it's all right. You know, I've seen every film in the series, like every film, and loved every film, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't like obsessed with it or anything. Like some people get majorly obsessed, and I, I just wasn't. Um, however, however, I don't know what it is, but lately I've been drawn to all things Harry Potter. I've been buying Harry Potter jumpers in Primark, and I bought the little owl <laughs> from Harry Potter. I don't know what's been going on. I've just gone a Harry Potter mad. So my plan is, okay, that all over Christmas while I'm off from work, a new year, because you always get a nice bit of time off, you know. Um, I want to read the whole series of Harry Potter. Okay, so I'm literally on this mission of finding Harry Potter books because I've gone around different shops and like looked at prices of them, and they're quite expensive if you buy them all in a, in a set and stuff. Um, like in the works, they had a lovely, beautiful box set of Harry Potter, but it was like forty pounds, and I was like, mm. um, so what I'm doing? I'm just going around secondhand charity shops, you know, looking for these books because I always see Harry Potter books when I'm out and about in charity shops. So that's what I'm doing. I'm on this like kind of scavenger hunt to find Harry Potter books. Um, obviously, if you've got any Harry Potter books that you don't want pass them on to me obviously um, but yeah that's what I'm doing so I found these two today so I'm um, you know I've made a start on it and as I say over Christmas New Year I'm gonna literally you know get into the whole book series and and, and that's the thing I don't know what house I'd be in it's all very dramatic for me I don't know if I'd be a bit of a Ravenclaw because I'm quite creative and mystical and I'm a bit kind of individual and out there um, but then there's also a little bit of me that's like a bit of a bad girl and I like kind of you know like the baddies in pantomimes and the wicked witches in fairy tales so I do like a bit of slivering and when I used to watch the films I always liked Draco and his dad I was like oh hello so I think I'm a bit half Ravenclaw but half slivering but apparently you can't be half and half I don't know, but I'm t yeah, I'm just gonna kind of get on the whole kind of Harry Potter thing and get obsessed with it, like everyone else says. <laughs> I've just done it quite a few years later. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you is these two little bookends that I got. Oh, they are so cute. They are elephants. So I saw these sitting on the shelf, and I I didn't know if they were for sale or if they were just like as their display because they have different things on display. But they said like no, they are for sale. Um, but yeah, they're two little elephants. How cute are these bookends? They're adorable. I love elephants. So, and they're nice red colour as well. So I'm going to put these on one of my bookcases, not the one in my bedroom because I've got no room. I've already got bookcase um, bookends on there. But I'm going to put these I think on the uh, bookcase in my loft because I've got one up there. So I just think they're really cute. I love them. So got those also got this now this is i just i think this is magical it's so beautiful so um this is another series that i've never like read or anything seen the film loved it years and years ago but never read the book so this is the spiderwick chronicles but it's a deluxe collector's um box and it looks like a kind of treasure chest how cool is this it's absolutely gorgeous so it's a special edition kind of collector's piece and it's really heavy actually so if I show you around the box there there's the, the top and yeah if you just open it up there oh <laughs> you can see that's inside there and all the books are in there and they look like really lovely the book covers are just so nice and I'll just get one out randomly hold on got that one or oh, should I just get them all out I'll show you all the books so um, what's this one this is the field guide book one and um, then we've got this one the wrath of mole Gareth I think that is oh look at him I want to see him on a dark night <laughs> this is uh, the scene stone they just look so cool like the cute little books uh, Lucinda's secret 
and this book is uh, this is my favorite cover the ironwood tree look at that they just look amazing so they're by Holly Black. I've read a few Holly Black books, and I've got The Cruel Prince to read by her as well. And Tony D. Talese, or Lizzie, I think that is. You also get this here, which is, it says, The Spiderwick Chronicles Notebook, Fantastical Observations. And, yeah, it's a pretty cool little book there. It's like a little diary and different things like that, and there's all different, like, drawings and stuff in it. It's pretty cool. I think he looks cool so yeah get that and also you get the um, postcards as well there's like little collectible cards in here which I think are pretty cool get that one you get oh look at them that one this is nice look at that that one oh <laughs> that one and that one so I think it's a really cool little set so I paid like two pounds for this set oh sorry two pound in the charity shop and it's just lovely it's so nice so as I say I've not read those books either so my plan is over Christmas to a new year to read the Harry Potter books and the Spiderwick Chronicles that's going to be my kind of little um, mission basically oh I'll tidy them up a bit Tidy them up in a bit. So that is that. Um, so yeah, also I've got some book mail today. Book mail. I love it when I get post and uh, it's a book because otherwise it's boring. It's from the bank, you know, it's a bill that needs paying or a reminder to pay something or, you know, an advert or a catalogue or whatever. But when you get post that's a book, I'm happy. Okay. So I've got book mail today. I'm still waiting for a few that I've ordered from eBay that haven't turned up yet. Um, but this one has turned up and it is by the amazing Victoria Schwab, or she's sometimes called in, in her books, V.E. Schwab. But it's Victoria Schwab. Now, Victoria Schwab is one of my favourite authors of all time. I've literally read all of her books apart from this series here, which is the archived series. Um, so I had to get it. I was like, no, I've read every other book by apart from those. So yeah, I, I love her writing style. I love her uh, like world building and her characters and just everything. Like I love, I love Victoria Schwab. I follow her on Twitter and like every tweet, I'm like there like a you know weirdo. But I, I just love her as a person. I love her books. So I wanted to get these two. So this one's turned up first, but this is number two. It's called The Unbound. Uh, number one is called The Archived, so I think it's called The Archived. <laughs> yeah, no, it's called The Archived. Um, and this is number... Look at that. That's nice. I like the artwork in that. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to at some point get, giving these a read, and then I can be like, then I've read every single Victoria Schwab book. Yeah. So I think they're supposed to be quite good. They were out quite a while ago, um, which is fine. But um, I just recently finished reading Vengeful, which was the sequel to Vicious. Vicious was amazing, and then obviously Vengeful was brilliant as well. So check out Victoria Schwab books if you haven't, because she's a great, great author. Anyway, I'm rambling. Let me now tell you about the book that I'm currently reading. I'm nearly finished this book, and um, it's Hocus Pocus, the all-new sequel. Loving the cover. It's such a cool cover, and the back as well. So yeah, I'm nearly finished that. I'll be finished it in about, I don't know, 20 minutes or something reading time. Um, so it says at the top, I like that. Which please? Which please? Um, so yeah, Hocus Pocus, the first part, it's broken into two parts, this book. So the first part of this book is basically like a, a storybook retelling of the film, okay? So apparently it's very, very similar. I know this is ridiculous, but I have not seen Hocus Pocus film yet. I know, I know, how could I have gone through my life without not seeing it? And it's the type of thing that I would have loved, but anyway, I haven't. But it's okay, do not fear, do not worry. I have bought the DVD of Hocus Pocus. I'm going to watch it on the weekend, on Sunday, I'm going to watch it. So, um, but yeah, basically part one is the film and then part two kind of happens uh 25 years later so it's kind of in the current day and um, the characters from the foot like the film in the first part of the book have grown up kind of thing and got kids and you know the witches come back and stuff like that so I don't want to say too much about it because I want to give like spoilers away but I'm gonna say the first half of this book was really good like I really thought it was brilliant and funny and just yeah the second half um, I'm just a bit mm, 
it's okay but it for me it just feels like two different people have wrote it like the first part of the book brilliant second part it's just a bit i mean it's not awful the second part but it's just not as good as the first part i don't, I don't know what it is i just not feeling the second part as much but overall it's really good like i'll probably end up giving it a four out of five stars or something because it is really good and it is funny and spooky and witchy so and i love the cover it's just beautiful cover so that's that book the next book i plan on reading is campfire by sean Salis, which is here and uh yeah this is i love this cover it's so creepy with them eyes I see you. <laughs> so this is kind of, you know, the kids around a campfire and they kind of tell all the scary stories, you know, and, and then, yeah, things start to happen. The people start to get killed. The stories from the, the haunted woods, you know, things start to happen for real and it's not just stories. It says, be careful what st stories you tell around the fire. So it said on one of the reviews I read ages ago that um, if you liked Afraid of the Dark TV show, you'll love this book and Are You Afraid of Dark on Nickelodeon was by far one of my favourite TV shows of all time. I loved it. I've seen every single episode and um, yeah, I'm looking forward to read this actually. And I also picked up another book yesterday, which I completely forgot to include in this video, but I'll just very quickly tell you about it. Um, it's called Slender Man. I picked it up. <sighs> it's supposed to be really freaky and dark and horror and creepy and it's based on the whole kind of slender man kind of urban myth thing um, but the weird thing is there's no author listed when you you know like you'd look at a book and it's saying oh no look the unbound by victoria schwab right and this is just the slender man anonymous so yeah everyone's just trying to like google who the author is you can't find it it's supposed to be like the story and then like there's transcripts in it and and messages and emails and all different things like that where you can kind of find out about the story and i don't know like i'm kind of scared to read it but i want to read it so i'm gonna read it but i picked that up yesterday um trying to think oh yeah i also ordered <laughs> i'm so naughty all these books i also ordered a book by neil schusterman called dry or the dry or dry i think it's just called dry anyway it's got the word dry in it basically um so yeah i ordered that from waterstones click and collect so i'm gonna go and get that tomorrow i absolutely loved uh, scythe and i loved thunderhead so this is his new book that he's actually wrote with his son i wish there would have been like you know number three of scythe instead come out but i've got to wait till next year for that but this is supposed to be really good and it's kind of like dystopian um this kind of it's set in the future where i think the water runs dry literally and like people start running out of water and then they kind of all start turning on each other and having like wars with each other and stuff like that a bit kind of weird actually but as i said i'm gonna trust it because i love neil schusterman i think he's a brilliant writer so i'm looking forward to read that um what else can i talk about book wise i don't know oh there's another book that i'm quite interested in on in <laughs> interested on interested in um it's what is it the descent of elizabeth frankenstein i think that's what it's called by kirsten white that looked pretty good yeah that looked creepy like she's a young girl and she's like she gets rescued and took in at this house where victor frankenstein lives and then yeah he's not very nice to her and stuff so i don't there's so many books there's so many books i want to read so many books too little time anyway hopefully you've enjoyed the video and i want to do more videos so I, you know i just kind of do book stuff not just a book haul not just a book this book that kind of mix it up just lots of book in a video yeah cool anyway don't forget if you're on goodreads come and follow me on there the link's down below and then you can see what books i've read what books i want to read you know i can follow you back see what you're reading and stuff so follow me on goodreads i love goodreads it's a great great app um and yeah that's the end of the video so please click like comment subscribe to my channel and don't forget i've got another youtube channel as well so it'd be really awesome if you could go and check that channel out and subscribe it's minx laura one two three asmr and very quickly on that channel i make relaxation videos to help people like myself with anxiety insomnia depression and just to relax you to help you sleep that kind of thing and also some people when they watch my videos get like a tingly sensation in their head okay all right thank you for watching everyone I'll see you later happy reading Mwah. bye <laughs>